Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody uh, who knew him, known him a long time. And, uh, you know, he, he just, he, mean, he means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, he was such a great opponent, you know. Um, it's what you want in sports. Um, he had that, that DNA that, uh, that very few athletes can ever have, you know, the, the Tiger Woods and the, the Michael Jordans, you know. Um, it's funny, I, uh, I've, I was getting to know him more since he retired, you know. Um, yeah, this is, this is a tough one. I don't, uh, I mean, we have to go play. Uh, I mean, the news is just so devastating for, for Vanessa and, and, his, and his family. And um, there's just so many people he touched, you know. Um, and, you know, it's, it's looking at my young players and, and seeing how emotional uh, they are. Uh, they didn't even know him, you know. And uh, it just tells you how far his reach was. So, um, I mean, this is just shocking news for all of us. And sorry, I don't have a lot to say. Uh, I just can't uh, have to go talk to a team uh, before a game and tell them to play a game. Man, um, I mean, words, words can't explain it, man. Um, for myself, learning everything I've, I've learned basketball-wise from Kobe, what he meant to the game. The inspiration that he brought to the world. Um, not just that, um, his daughter, I'm a father. Um, I can't imagine something like that, you know, happening. I mean, it's, it's a sad, sad, very sad, sad day. You know, Amanda, I, I didn't know until Joey just told me coming off uh, 18 green. Um, I didn't really understand why uh, the people in the gallery is, were saying doing it for Mamba. Um, but now I understand. Um, it's a shocker to everyone. Um, un un unbelievably sad and um, one of the more tragic days that uh, I think, well, for me, it's just, the rally just kind of sitting in because um, I was just told probably about, you know, five minutes ago. Yeah. You've been a Lakers fan your entire life. I know what Kobe meant to you. Joe and Le Joe LaCava says that you guys talk about him a lot on the golf course. What will you remember most about him as a player, but most importantly, as, as a man and father? The fire. The, um, he burned so competitively hot and uh, the desire to win. Um, he brought it each and every night um, on both ends of the floor. I mean, not too many guys can, can say that uh, throughout NBA history that um, he'd lock up on D. Obviously, he was dominant on the offensive side, but uh, anytime he was in the game, he'd, he'd take on their, their, their best player and uh, just shut him down for you know, all 48 minutes. And um, that was one of the more impressive things, I think, throughout this entire career. And then, you know, when he ruptured his Achilles and went to the foul line, and man his shots. I mean, that's that's tough. Good game, tough loss, who cares? Um, most importantly, uh, appreciate you all letting the locker room be tonight. Uh, everybody's pretty emotional about the tragedy uh, with Kobe, and uh, all of us know what a great player he was, but he went beyond great playing. He was a competitor uh, that is it goes unmatched and it's what made him uh, as a player so attractive to everybody that focus uh, that competitiveness that will to win uh, and even more importantly than that uh, we all feel a, a deep sense of loss for what he meant to all of us in so many ways and so many millions of people loved him for so many different reasons uh, it's just a, a, a tragic thing that uh, there are no words that can describe uh, how everybody feels about it. So uh, we all think about the family. 
and the process that they're going to be going through now. Uh, that's where all our thoughts should be. It's very difficult for me to put in words how I feel about the loss of Kobe Bryant. As a young boy, I met him when he was 11 or 12 years old. I was friends with his dad, Joe. We were uh, former uh, adversaries. Joe played for the 76ers, but he was a good friend and uh, someone that I shared a friendship. And it's hard for me to uh, understand now how this is affecting Joe and his wife. So uh, for, to Kobe's family, I, I want to send my most sincere and heartfelt uh, regrets and prayers. And my thoughts are with you guys. Kobe was a, an incredible family man. He loved his wife and, and daughters. He was an incredible athlete and a leader in a, in a lot of ways. He inspired a whole generation of young athletes. He was one of the first ones to leave high school and come into the NBA and do so well, dominating the game and becoming one of the best scorers that the Los Angeles Lakers has ever seen. I had the privilege of being there when he scored his 81 point game. And it was something that I will always remember as one of the highlights of uh, the things that I have learned and observed in sports. Kobe, my thoughts are with you, absolutely. Rest in peace, young man. This loss is, it's, it's just hard to comprehend. Go with God. I met him back in the day at, at a Nike camp and he was just, he was just very encouraging to me. Um, and he's just been an idol of mine ever since I was little. Like his mentality, his work ethic. Um, I mean, he's just, I think everybody in my position, everybody in the league, he's a legend to us. We all look up to him and it's just, man, it was, it was, I didn't think it was real. Even if you didn't know Kobe or even met him, watching him and just so much he did um, for his community and others and the impact he had, I feel like you knew him. I'm just going to make a brief statement on behalf of the Nets organization, and uh, uh, we'd like to express our sincerest condolences to the you know, Bryant family um, and everybody affected by the tragedy. As an organization, we're devastated. Our players are devastated. Um, we have a player that was very close to Kobe, who's that's our thoughts and prayers are with him also. Um, just a tough time for the NBA, for all of us. But uh, um, that's really all I have to say. Well, I mean, it's, it's obviously it's shocking and it's uh, it's tragic. Um, you know, I just had a conversation with him about maybe three, three and a half weeks ago. And uh, just brief, I mean, I don't want to get into the same, but just an incredibly, you know, a, a brilliant man and uh, incredibly passionate about, you know, our game, uh, driven, um, you know, just it was really, I mean, I'd say an honor, you know, to even have had to been the chance to be around him for one season. You know, obviously our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and Vanessa and the kids and uh, just an unbelievable tragedy. Your own thoughts of having you well, know, spent time? Well, uh, I mean, it's just like with everybody. He's one of the greatest players ever, uh, an unbelievable competitor. Um, Earned everything, every, every accolade he got, he earned. Uh, he just kept coming at you, and he's there won't be many like him, that's for sure. I mean, this this is devastating, man. This one uh, hurt to the core uh, to hear news like that before the game. Um, it's tough to see. It was, it was tough to stay focused. It was, I mean, it was. I mean, I just tough to hear news like that before the game. The guy you admire. Um, how you looked up to, and uh, you know, I just wish all their families, they, you know, they need all the support that they can get. I mean, all the support they can get, because that's, I mean, that's just the toughest. You know, it's so devastating. That's the toughest thing you could ever deal with.